Welcome to the homework for lesson 24. This is module 2 of grade 1. Get your name on here first. Do that now before you forget it. And we're doing more word problems. We're reading, drawing and labeling our picture, and writing a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. You've got to have that for all word problems all the time. Toby dropped 12 crayons on the classroom floor. Toby picked up 9 crayons. Marnie picked up the rest. How many crayons did Marnie pick up? Let's just draw the picture first and then figure it out later. So Toby dropped 12 crayons. So let's draw the 12 crayons. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He picked up 9 of them. Right, so I kind of made this 10 group here, but these 9 right here, he picked up. Toby picked these up. And Marnie picked up the rest. How many crayons did she pick up? Well, we started out with 12. We subtracted the 9 that Toby picked up. And we had Marnie's 3 left over. Marnie Picked up three crayons. Number two, there were 11 students on the playground. Some students went back into the classroom. If seven stayed outside, how many went inside? I'm going to draw 11 students, right? Because there were 11 students on the playground. One, oops, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Some went back into the classroom. We don't know how many, but seven stayed outside. So I could just cross out seven and see how many were left, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, if this is ten, there should be three left when I done crossing out because seven and three make ten. And then we see that there are four here. So we had 11, and I crossed out 7, that left 4, and there are 4, 4 students went inside. Alright, so let's label the picture too. These are the, uh, we crossed out the ones who stayed outside. Those are the outside students, and these are the inside students here, I for inside. Four students went inside. And it's just reading it, drawing the picture, and doing what it says. Labeling the picture. <clears throat> At the play, eight students from Mr. Frank's room got a seat. If there were 17 children from room 24, how many children did not get a seat? So, let's draw the eight, let's say, at the play, missed eight students from Mr. Frank's room. So, let's draw eight students. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are the students who got a seat for Mr. Frank's room. There's eight of them. And there were some children who did not get a seat. Right, we don't know how many there are. Uh... N for no seat, but we know there's a total of 17, right? So if that's 8, then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And let's see, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 did not get a seat, and there are 17 children. Uh, 
this is the number that we had to figure out that we didn't know. So that's uh, 9 children did not get a seat. Simone had 12 bagels. She shared some with friends. Now she has nine bagels left. How many did she share with friends? So we know that there's 12 bagels. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, we don't know how many she shared with their friends, but we know there's nine left. So if we cross out nine, then we'll know how many she shared. Uh, and this is a ten group, so there's the nine. And so that's how many she shared. We started with 12 bagels. We crossed out nine. And we have three left. There's a th three that we were trying to find out. Simone shared three bagels. And you got labeled picture. Uh, these are the left, left bagels there. Now it's labeled. Labeled picture, number sentence that goes with the story, right? That's what we did. We subtracted 12 minus 9. And then your answer statement. Got to have all three of those things for every word problem. 